lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm reviewing Love and Resistance Out of the Closet and Into the Stonewall Era. This is a photo collection with photographs by Kay Tobin Lawson and Diana Davies, and it is edited by Jason Bauman. There is an introduction in here by Roxanne Gay, and these photographs are from the New York Public Library archives. This is a photography book collecting photographs from the 1960s and 70s that show the LGBT movement through those periods. And there is a huge shift around Stonewall. So this book focuses on the photography done by Kay Tobin Lawson, um, who was a photojournalist who captured a lot of moments in the LGBT civil rights movement, um, and also did photographs for LGBT um, magazines and newspapers, trying to like create visibility. So before this period, if there were photographs and these kind of things, they were like cartoons and drawn up stuff. So now we're having actual live people being visible, um, which is hugely important. And then we also have Diana Davies, who is also a photojournalist um, and really focusing on the civil rights aspect of it. Um, although they both kind of do both. Taken as a whole, these tell the story of how the LGBT movement progresses. In the 1960s, there are a lot of reminder day protests or parades in which we have um, LGBT members of the community just trying to be visible and they do this by trying to be non-threatening by being very conservative um, in their appearance and saying that look the only difference between you and me is that I have a different sexual preference. So in the 1960s where we want equality we want to be considered the same but they're going for very small goals at a time like um, this particular one is about the war and um the, you're not allowed to be in the military if you're gay so like we're not dodging so like the first one is we didn't dodge the draft the death the draft dodges us like we want to be part of the military can you please include us this is a time period where it's illegal to be gay it's illegal to even serve somebody in a bar who's gay um you cannot cross dress at all you have to wear your gender's clothing and present as the gender you were assigned at birth. Um, this is the law. And so there's a lot of movement of trying to change the laws, but also trying to just change perceptive perception that like we're here, but like we're, we're, we don't, we're not trying to change who you are. We just also want to be visible and seen. And then there's period in the late 1960s and into the early 70s where we have a shift from more conservative stuff to much more, um, celebrations of just being out and being different and owning who they are. Um, a lot of trans people just dressing as their chosen gender and presenting as that. Um, a lot of open displays of affection. Um, so and just celebrating who they are. So the book itself has a really good preface in it um, about who um, Kate Tobin Lawson and Diana Davies were and what their focuses were um, and about the movement as a whole as well as captions on each photograph explaining that particular moment that was captured and why it was um, what it was trying to achieve making that photograph visible. So the book is broken up into four sections. The first one is visibility so it's just images of people who are LGBT and just being like hey we exist this is what we're doing. Um, so this is Barbara Giddings, who is an activist in her own right, but she is also Kay Tobin Lawson's partner, both like in the movement, but also romantically. And then over on the other page, we have activist Craig Rodwell, who had a um, an LGBT bookstore, but also he's one of the people who organized the Christopher Street Liberation Day, which was the one of the first pride parades in New York. Um, just being there is important. There's also photographs of other activists in this movement, people who are just like, hey, we exist. Um, one of my favorites though is Sylvia Rivera, who played a big part in Stonewall, but also just her being here, being trans, and just being like, yes, I am fabulous, which I, I just don't, I adore that picture so much. Um, on the other page, we have Bob Coer, who's also another activist who was enrolled in who was involved in the Stonewall Riots. Probably explain the Stonewall Riots if you guys don't know. So Stonewall Inn is a gay bar in New York and it's at a time when it was illegal to even serve gays drinks, let alone for all of them to congregate and have a place to hang out and just be themselves. There are also a lot of 
trans women there, people who were dressed as the opposite gender, who could just like have a place that was safe, that they could just be themselves, except um, it's a time when it's illegal to do any of that stuff, so it's not particularly... So while it's a relatively safe space, um, they also were frequently raided by the police and like shut down for the night. Um, and the Stonewall riots really happened after the police come one day and bar patrons took up arms, they particularly picked up rocks and bricks, and started fighting back against the police. And so there is this massive movement launched where the LGBT community is really fighting for their right to exist in a much more visible way. Um, so there is more violent protests, but there's also a lot of just, hey, we're here, celebrations happening, um, what we think of as modern day pride. Uh, that's all brewing about the same time period, the late 60s to early 70s, and Stonewall is like this very visible moment of that happening. It's not actually the first time that it happened. There are a few other instances in the late 60s, um, but this is the first time where it's like national news and everybody takes notice. So after Stonewall, we have this shift into much more visible pride. Um, and also splintering out and being, then there's also the splintering around that time period where we're uh, approaching it differently too. So there's like actual taking from the Black Power movement and having a much more aggressive, violent stance, but also there is a lot of pre peaceful protests, a lot of pride parades happening, a lot of people just being out and being like, hey, I'm me, this is who I am, and presenting as their true selves. So presenting as a gender that they identify as, just being out with their their romantic interests. We also have people who are just friends, but are showing more affection just to be like, it's okay, there's nothing wrong with two guys holding hands, um, there's nothing wrong with two guys hugging, or two girls hugging, or even two girls kissing, or guys kissing, like, it's totally, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, and really just striving for equality that way. So the second section is about love and just um, being visible in your relationship and being okay with being that it, like showing that it's fine that the world doesn't end if two people of the same gender are in love or um, committed to each other or whatever. One of my favorite sections, one of my favorite pictures in this section is um, uh, Barbara Gettings just in the shower um, photographed by her her roman her, her lover just it's such a cute like honest moment um and the other page is just a couple of kissing section three is about pride and owning who you are um and really creating safe spaces for the lgbt community so here is the gay liberation front setting up just a dance um just party time more just couples um, having dances and just celebrating the fact that they're they can be together like owning who they are and then the last section is protests which is really what I thought this was going to be more of and then the last section is protests so there's the reminder day parades from the 60s we also have like the pride parades um, here are some protests against Time magazine that did an article um, just basically blasting the LGBT community and saying it's wrong. And so they have the community coming back and saying, hey, we have a right to exist. You don't get to dictate morality. Um, so this one particularly caught my attention. It's at the American Library Association's um, annual conference. And we just have um, women who are lesbians just like, hey, come, come hug a gay. Just, you know, it's fine. Like, we're just normal people. Just like, and a lot of librarians did come up and just give them hugs, and that's pretty much awesome. And a really cool way to be visible and have protests um, in a way that's a little bit safer and more comfortable to some people. And on the opposite page is from the Christopher Street Liberation Day protests, so the Pride Parade, um, gay liberation there, just like being out in force. This picture we have Marsha P. Johnson, who's one of the main figures coming out of the Stonewall riots. Um, She's a trans woman and just being out as her identifying gender and being visible at these protests. And then we also have Caddy Van Duers in the background who is also an activist. Can't find the pages exactly. But there are photographs in here of the feminist movement and having this group protesting the way that lesbians and trans women are being excluded from the feminist movement at the time. And so trying to shift the focus rather than just straight women deserve equality, but like all women deserve equality 
and their protests actually do succeed in shifting the overall movement. There's still some people in the feminist movement who think it would be easier if it's just straight women rather than including all women. But there is also a focus in here about um, joining other movements, so being part of the Vietnam War protests, being part of the civil rights movement, being part of the feminist movement, um, and including themselves in that and saying that, hey, yes, we are also a part of this. We want equality for gays, but we also want equality for all women. We want equality for all people regardless of color. Um, gays also don't want to be part of Vietnam. Um, some do want to fight and some don't and it should be an equal choice the way that anybody else has to choose. So I really enjoyed being able to see the faces and see what was visually happening. I'm a pretty visual person. I love photography. Um, so nonfiction books in general don't interest me because it's just so much text and it tends to get too bogged down by details of what was happening. But this is a good job of explaining what's happening, giving an overview, and exploring this 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 changing period in our history and in LGBT rights. Um, so I highly recommend Love and Resistance and enjoyed it. Uh, totally go check it out, guys. Um, do you have any other recommendations of books about the LGBT movement, about this period of the 60s and 70s, about Stonewall? Um, what else should I be checking out? Uh, if you've read this or seen it, what do you think of it? Overall, I gave this four stars as an I really like it, four out of five stars. It's hard to write since it's not a novel that I'm normally reading, so that's, they're all objective. They're all subjective readings anyway, right? Okay. So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.